Covering news that matters. Fox 23 News at 9 starts right now. We are hearing from Owasso parents about the federal investigation that found violations made by Owasso Public Schools. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shay Rossi. And I'm Sarah Wadley. We first told you at 5, the U.S. Department of Education Office for Civil Rights says the district did not handle sexual harassment cases adequately. New at 9, Fox 23's Kaylee Carnine is live outside Owasso High School with reaction from parents. Yes, the district sent out a letter yesterday saying they had entered in an, into an agreement to resolve a Title IX complaint. They didn't mention that they were accused of any violations. They told us today that's because they didn't get that new federal letter that spelled out those violations. But I spoke to parents who say they just want some more clarity. We trust you to watch our kids for eight hours a day. You see our children more than we do during the school year. So I would expect to be, you know, put in the loop of what's happening. Rebecca Foster has an elementary school student in Owasso Public Schools. She says she isn't surprised that a federal investigation found the school district mishandled sexual harassment reports. The U.S. Department of Education Office for Civil Rights says those reports include a teacher grooming female students on social media by sending more than 130 messages to them describing their physical appearance and requesting their photographs among other topics. A very young elementary school student was subjected to repeated harassing remarks by another student that were described as sexual in nature. That a male student repeatedly hit and made unwelcome sexual comments to a female sixth grade student at school and on the school bus. And finally, a report that multiple students were subjected to repeated sex-based slurs, harassment, and physical assault. The Office for Civil Rights says district staff didn't explain the process for filing a Title IX complaint. The district says it doesn't admit fault, but they have a very detailed detailed plan moving forward to ensure a safe and inclusive environment for all students. Rebecca says she feels like there's a lack of accountability from the school district. I know that everybody in Owasso has seen like the bullying at the high school that has been kind of like we did nothing wrong, nothing happened. And it's like been like a really like kept in the dark situation. Um, and I know like I have elementary school kids, like I said, um, there's been instances where my child has been bullied and nothing is done about it. Rebecca tells me she thinks that the school district is too big for them to properly handle issues with harassment and bullying, so she's moving her son to a smaller school district. I'm working on that for Fox 23 News at 10. Live in Owasso covering news that matters, Kaylee Carnine, Fox 23 News. Owasso Public Schools declined our request for an interview, but we have put their full statement in this story on fox23.com. You know, we want to remind you that as a parent, no matter what district your child is in, if your child is being harassed, you need to report it to the administration and speak with the Title IX coordinator in the district.